Alperslan, Bayak Selkuklu, Alperslan. Great Seljuk The Rise of a Dynasty In the 11th century, the Seljuk Empire emerged as a dominant force in the Islamic world, spreading its influence across Persia, the Middle East, and Anatolia. At the heart of this expansion was Sultan Alperslan, a visionary leader and brilliant military strategist whose reign marked the pinnacle of Seljuk power. This story explores his journey from a young prince to a legendary conqueror, focusing on his battles, his vision for a unified Muslim world, and the legacy he left behind. Alperslan, born as Muhammad bin Dawud Chagri, grew up in the turbulent environment of the Seljuk court. His father, Chagri Beg, was a prominent Seljuk leader who instilled in him the values of leadership, bravery, and loyalty. From an early age, Alperslan demonstrated remarkable intelligence and a keen interest in military affairs. Upon the death of his uncle, Tugril Beg, the founder of the Seljuk Empire, a fierce struggle for succession ensued. Alperslan's claim to the throne was challenged by rival factions within the Seljuk dynasty. Through a combination of diplomacy, strategic alliances, and military prowess, Alperslan secured his position as the Sultan of the Seljuk as Sultan. Alperslan envisioned a powerful and unified Seljuk empire. He focused on consolidating his power by bringing stability to the regions under his control and strengthening the central authority. His administrative reforms laid the foundation for a more efficient and cohesive empire. Alperslan's reign was marked by a series of successful military campaigns. He expanded the Seljuk territories by defeating rival dynasties and subjugating rebellious provinces. His military strategy combined traditional Turkic tactics with innovative approaches, making him a formidable opponent on the battlefield. Point one of Alperslan's most significant achievements was the Battle of Manzikert in 1071. Facing the Byzantine Empire, Alperslan's forces dealt a decisive blow to Emperor Romano's four Diogenes, capturing him and securing a major victory. This battle not only solidified Seljuk dominance in Anatolia but also opened the door for Turkish settlement in the region, altering the course of history. Alperslan was not only a brilliant military leader but also an astute administrator. He implemented a series of reforms to streamline governance, improve tax collection, and promote economic growth. His efforts to integrate the diverse populations within the Seljuk Empire helped to maintain stability and foster a sense of unity. Under Alperslan's reign, the Seljuk Empire became a center of cultural and intellectual activity. He patronized scholars, poets, and artists, encouraging the flourishing of Persian culture and Islamic learning. The establishment of madrasas and libraries underscored his commitment to education and intellectual advancement. As a devout Muslim, Alperslan sought to uphold and spread Islamic values throughout his empire. He supported religious institutions and promoted the construction of mosques and other places of worship. His policies fostered a sense of religious unity and helped to solidify the Seljuk Empire's identity as a major Islamic power. Despite his successes, Alperslan's reign was not without challenges. He faced internal dissent from rival Seljuk princes and governors who sought to undermine his authority. These conflicts required constant vigilance and decisive action to maintain the integrity of the empire. The Seljuk Empire was also threatened by external enemies, including the Fatimid Caliphate in Egypt and various Christian states in the Caucasus and Anatolia. Alperslan's strategic acumen and military prowess were crucial in countering these threats and securing the empire's borders. Alperslan's untimely death in 1072, following an assassination attempt, left a significant void in the Seljuk leadership. However, his legacy as a great conqueror and visionary leader endured. His son, Malik Shah succeeded him and continued his father's policies, further strengthening the Seljuk Empire. Alperslan's successor, Sultan Malik Shah, built upon his father's achievements. Under Malik Shah's rule, the Seljuk Empire reached its zenith, with extensive territories and a flourishing economy. The capital, Isfahan, became a cultural and intellectual hub attracting scholars and artists from across the Islamic world. Point One of the most influential figures during this period was Nizam al-Mulk, Alperslan's and Malik Shah's vizier. His administrative genius and dedication to the Seljuk state were instrumental in its success. The establishment of the Nizamiya madrasas, named in his honor, played a crucial role in educating future leaders and scholars. 
The Seljuk Empire under Alperslan and Malik Shah was a period of remarkable cultural and scientific achievements. Advances in astronomy, mathematics, medicine, and architecture were made, leaving a lasting impact on the Islamic world and beyond. The Seljuk architectural style, characterized by intricate tilework and grand domes, became iconic. The legacy of Alperslan